Hello and welcome to another Nick Gay video. New characters and events have just been announced and I'll be discussing it. So let's get right to it. Here I am on the official Nick Gay Twitter. I'm going to read what it says on the screen. It says pick up recruitment notice. The new Nick Gay Privity Unkind Maid is coming soon. Privity Unkind Maid pick up recruitment begins simultaneously. Stay tuned. And here she is. So this is the brand new Nick Gay here, which I, well, I should probably say brand old Nick Gay here. But anyways, it's pretty much Privity in a new costume here. Looks like she's going to be part of the Made For You crew, which has uh, Cocoa and also Soda there as well. And obviously there's some very lovely assets on there. But let's go ahead and first just talk about how her outfit actually looks. And pretty much her outfit looks very similar to like a French made outfit. Very, very different to uh, what Cocoa and Soda had there. But only that you can actually see on the top here. It's a little hard to tell, but there's actually little cat ears on top of the headband that she has here. Besides a little paw that's up there holding up her hair. A little ribbon on the side. And then we go towards the neck. She has a little cat bell to complete the ensemble there. Tied to the ribbon there. There's the big cat name badge where it just says made for you privity. Looks like something that Coco would made, honestly. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we go down and then we do see the lovely Booba there with this lovely frills that are right there. And then obviously the gloves that are all the way up to the elbow. It's also a nice touch there. But at the bottom, it's cut off here, but obviously it's going to have a skirt complementing this outfit here too. And also as well, um, it's a little hard to see, but there's actually a tail that's right behind her. So to finally complete the whole ensemble, yeah, she's going to have this uh, cat tail attached to her outfit too. Hopefully it's attached to her outfit. I mean, it could be attached to somewhere else. But anyway, so we look at the little right hand side here. It uh, looks like you're going to see her burst there. It looks like she's a little nervous. You know, she's uh, probably embarrassed about what she's doing. But if you actually look at her hands a little bit lower, she um, looks like it's shaped like a heart. So wherever she's doing it to, most likely to the commander, which is us, or if not to a customer, since she is, this, since this is a maid cafe there, uh, she's trying to give her best love to whoever's being present there. And only that as well, if you look at the top right corner, you can see the ribbon in a little bit better detail there. And also here on the left-hand side, next to the pickup recruitment, yeah, you can see actually the, the headband with the cat ears there um and all that they actually do leave a little bit of the skirt here right underneath the recruitment uh, words there yeah she looks extremely lovely here and obviously she is extremely embarrassed since uh you know she is a government official there she works for the big o and i don't know why she's exactly doing this but uh yeah she's extremely embarrassed but she looks super cute here all right and one other thing too i wanted to mention as well is that she is not limited uh, the reason why it's because usually limited but would be right here on the left hand side where it says pick up recruitment it would say limited recruitment when i had originally saw this i was assuming it's going to be a limited nikkei just because a lot of these alternate characters so for example summer anise summer neon summer mary christmas lunmila christmas mika so on and so forth all of those have been limited units you know they only come for that very short amount of time and then they go ahead and leave the only nikkei that has broken this rule would be scarb she is the only nikkei that has broken that so far everyone else has stayed true to the rule i'll go ahead and show you further proof here and pretty much this is how it's going to look for the collab banner you see it says limited pickup there obviously with all collab units are obviously automatically limited but i'll go ahead and just show you also here for summer neons as well which here it says limited pickup recruitment as well so i was a when i first saw it i assumed 100 it was going to be a limited recruitment but no, it looks like she is going to be permanently added to the game, which that's actually a complete shock to me. But I know there are a lot of Privity fans, so luckily... So for those commanders that do not have enough uh, gems or have not advanced recruit vouchers to go ahead and pick up this unit, at least you don't have to worry. She's not going to leave the game, and you can pick her up at any time once the banner is over. Of course, it's better to do it while the banner's up, because if you have enough golden tickets, you're more than welcome to use those golden tickets to go ahead and ensure that she actually comes into your roster. And now you can actually use double Privity now if you want to. All right, next up is going to be the event here. So I'm just going to read this here. It says Perfect Maid. With Valentine's Day around the corner, A, the Perfect Maid, is perturbed for being unable to move her customers with her impeccable appearance. While suppressing a terrorist attack, Privity and Drake mistakenly fire a grenade towards Maid Cafe. Uh oh, that's not good. And let me just go ahead and scroll down here. And yeah, so here it is Pr uh, Privity right there. And also with the lovely aid. And it's going to be extremely likely that she's going to be appear in the game as well on the roster since a lot of these usually include two ssr um Nikkeis, you most of the time so finally finally i mean it only took a whole year for her to be um enrolled into the game i mean she was present way 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 back on the uh made in valentine's event way back there but we could go ahead and see the logo down here it says perfect made and there is a there right on the logo and all like that on the logo itself i mean there's some lovely flowers here and with the T that's on the side there. And luckily there's some cookies right here. Nikki, you can actually see some bear cookies with a smile there. And even have a little uh, made headband as well for the bears there. And obviously right here, Privity. I mean, she is helping making those sweets there. And also as well, it's a very, very lovely view of Privity there. Showing off her assets, you know, showing off the bell there, her hair, her outfit. 
And, you know, also as well, A there on the side, supervising her, making sure she's doing her best there. But it looks like they're both smiling. But Privity here is looking like she's confused and looks like uh, she has more of the smile of, oh, hey, you know, um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best here. So please don't yell at me type of look there. And yes, if you guys don't remember that event or in case you guys weren't here, yeah, it was a Maiden Valentine's event, I believe. I mean, they haven't said anything yet, but I'm pretty sure since practically this event's going to be in February, uh, most likely they're going to put that back on the event archive. And then from there, you'd be able to go ahead and look at the event. And unfortunately, it was only mostly going to be revolving around Coco and Soda at the time. A, just stayed behind and took care of the shop. But pretty much, I believe what the event was is that Mustang went to the shop. Um, he didn't like how they made the chocolates. Pretty much, they were going to cancel the whole Valentine's Day event until uh, they took Cocoa and Soda to the surface. And then they went into this factory that basically made chocolates a long, long time ago. And then that's where you saw Manager Johnny, which was a hologram. And he basically, he showed Cocoa and Soda how to make chocolates. And, and there was a very special secret ingredient there. I won't spoil anything else. But it's a very wonderful event and um yeah so most likely that event will be going into the um event archive as well but yeah she's he's extremely lovely oh yeah here we can actually see the bottom of the outfit too and yeah so it looks like just a very nice dress down here um unfortunately i didn't see any more of her legs just cuts off there yeah so i'm actually just shocked again like um i did not expect privity uh this made privity to be pretty much a permanent unit but yeah a unit but yes she is going to be permanent here and a most likely age should also be part of the event too. I mean, she really needs to be a part of the event. Come on, it's been a whole year shift up. Come on, she needs to be a part of this event, please. Even back then, I remember even back then during day one, when uh, when first when they first actually introduced all three characters, um, during that time, a lot of people said, oh, they're, they're going to surprise us with an aid banner, you know, um, after a week passes by. Nope. And then people said, oh, no, no. As soon as hard mode comes out, yeah, they're going to give us aid for free. She'll be an SR unit. We'll pick her up. No problem. Well, hard mode came out. And nope, no aid as well. So a lot of people were disappointed. A lot of people were expecting her to come out. And I know there's a lot of aid fans. So yeah, so it looks like she's finally going to be coming into the game. Most likely she's going to be coming to the game. But of course, we have to wait to confirm. Uh, Shift Up uh, actually does tell us. But most likely she should be since she's very prominent on this art as well. Other than that, hopefully you guys are excited about not only the event, but also about picking up here Privity. This Privity Unknown. I'm oh, sorry, Unkind. I keep saying her un unknown there. But I'm oh, sorry, Unkind Maid. But I think more she just uh, more uh, nervous there and only that she's less than there too. But it's OK. L uh, luckily, she looks very nice. And then also as well, we have to wait for her kit to come out, too. Since right now, none of her kit is officially released. I have seen her leak kit, but obviously I'm going to wait till it's officially released before talking about it. Since sometimes they do change uh, some of the information there. And even then, I don't think everything was shown on that kit as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait till it's finally out. And then I'll go ahead and give my opinions on thoughts about it. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And I'm Scrublord, and I'll see you on the next one.